fantasy owners, this is Sean, the fantasy ace in the Star Wars hat for Halloween this week. Hey, giving you the latest tips, tricks, and tools you need to dominate your leagues and contests. And this week, we are talking about Martinsville Speedway. Martinsville is a short track that's very unique compared to the other short tracks and is also commonly known for having drivers make contact with each other, especially late in the race. But other things you should take note of during this race is that the fastest cars of the race will always move to the front and being up front is very crucial to this race because the cars that remain out in front will tend to get you the most fantasy points this week. And speaking of getting fantasy points, Here's five picks that will help you get the most points you can for this week at Martinsville. Starting off, we have a driver that's running his final Martinsville race, but he's still going to be a threat to go after the win this week, and that is Jeff Gordon. Jeff Gordon is an eight-time winner that's starting in the fifth position. He also has an average finish of 5.1, which is the best in the entire Sprint Cup series at the moment. He also is the second fastest car in first practice, which showcases that he's going to have a really good car, he's going to go up there, he's going to do well, and that's why I like him this week. Another name who's always been a big threat to do well at Martinsville is Denny Hamlin. Denny Hamlin starts in the 10th position and he has an average finish of 8.3, which is very solid at this track. He is also a five-time winner at Martinsville, including the race earlier this year. And he also spent 83.5% of his overall laps within the top 15, showcasing the fact that he consistently stays in good position at this track. And you want somebody like that on your fantasy team this week, which is exactly why I like him to use in your lineups this week. Next up, we have a driver that will be a more under-the-radar sort of pick for Martinsville, and that is Martin Truex Jr. He starts all the way up in the second position, and he has five top tens in Martinsville. He even finished sixth in a previous race earlier this year. This showcases that he has good history at this track, and he's looking good already. I think he's going to end up doing pretty good and be a nice way to balance your lineups this week. One of the important things about Martinsville is having drivers finish safely and finish well. And Clint Boyer this week will do just that for your lineup. And that's because he starts in the 17th position, which gives him potential for finish upside. He's also ninth fastest in first practice, but the real important stat I want to point out is he has nine straight top 25 finishes at Martinsville currently. That designates himself as a real nice safe pick this week and you need somebody like that in your lineup so I highly recommend using him this week. Finally, I have the low value pick of the week for Martinsville and this is going to be Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. starts in the 29th position which gives him good potential for finish upside. He also is the 11th fastest car in the first practice and he's also riding a streak of 5 straight top 15 finishes. While he's hot, I recommend still using him. He's going to really balance your lineup out very nicely this week. This has been the weekly DFS NASCAR report starring me, Sean, the fancy ace in the hat. And I have to thank you guys so much for watching this. If you guys want to talk more NASCAR with me, be sure to follow me on Twitter at Sean247. And good luck and happy Halloween weekend.